All right, Aquarians. Hello, hello, hello to all of the Aquarians out there. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the energy in August. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this is your story. Hit the thumbs up image if it resonates. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, to get the full story, check your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome for a personal reading. The links will be in a description box below this video. All right, let's see. I will be pulling your energy first, your partner's energy, and then we will be going from there. All right, let's see. Aquarius. So Aquarius, some of you could be dealing with another Aquarius, okay? Like yourself, a Taurus, a Scorpio, a Leo, or an Aries. Let me know in the comment section. You are in your power at this time from what I am seeing. Okay, so let's see. So at the bottom of the deck, you have the two of pentacles. So someone here is juggling or something here is needing some balance. Let me know if you're in a situation where you feel like your person is juggling or something here just needs balance. So I feel like you and your person are definitely at a distance from each other with this world card. Okay. You may need to this you may be traveling to see this person or this person is traveling to see you. However, I feel like someone here is waiting on some type of reconciliation. For some of you, you may have known this person or you've been with this person for more than six months, could be six years. Okay, you may have known this person from your childhood or you feel like you have some type of um, past life connection with this person. Your person, okay, this person, it looks like this person is waiting to come towards you. They may need, they are waiting to free themselves up from something. Could be another person involved here with this three of cups. But this person is waiting. Yeah, I definitely feel like this may be a third party. This person is wanting to come towards you, but they may need to free themselves up from another situation before they are able to come in. And I feel like that's part of what the problem is between you two. So you could be feeling guarded or you're guarded at this time because with this Knight of Wands, you may feel like you're dealing with a player, someone that is... This could be some someone's spouse with the Emperor card here. I'm seeing a spouse. I see someone here having a lot of responsibilities. This person has a contract or some type of legal documentation in their hand. There could be children involved from what I'm seeing. And I feel like in order for this to come together and work out, I feel like someone here needs to walk away from someone else. Yeah, in order to come towards you. And I feel like it's going to take time because there may be financial hardship if this person walks away. Some, there are financial ties. Someone here is in a commitment with someone else. I feel like with this star card here, Aquarius, you are hoping for the best. You're hoping that you can have a new beginning and love with this person. But it's going to require someone here to walk away from another situation. All right? In your outcome, you have... I do see something stable coming in, but it, again, it's going to require someone to make a decision. Someone here has a path that they need to choose, but they're holding back. They're not doing anything. It's like right now, this person may be juggling. This could be them juggling you and someone else, but we're going to start clarifying to see what else comes out. All right, if this is resonating, let me know. Let's see. All right. See why this um what is the hold up? I'm gonna pull cards for your for, for your side and then your partner side again. All right, that's it. Let's see. Yeah, so there are limitations. You're feeling like you're waiting, and there are limitations here. Someone here is operating out of fear. Okay, some of you are done with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I feel like there's a lot of passion here, but it, this person is like home to you. Like 
you may be comfortable with this person, okay? But this person has doubts, and I feel like they're closed off. They don't, you're feeling like this person don't really show their emotions. They're guarded. They're closed off. They're resistant to change, okay? And you want to have a conversation. You want this person to open up and be honest about how they feel. So they could be wearing a mask, hiding how they feel. Your person wants to renew this union with you, but they're they're in fear of rejection. They are in fear of losing what they have because there could be, again, financial ties here. This person could also feel as if, feel as though if they walk away from this, they're going to lose like a fragment of themselves. Like if they have children, if they have like financial responsibilities with this other person, th th those things are going to be lost. Like the life that they always or once known is going to be diminished. Okay. So they feel like the way that they are doing things is stable and it's harmon harmony and flowing for them. But they are they may not be thinking about you. So this person is definitely thinking about themselves. Yeah, this person is married. Contracts. Okay, it could be a Leo or a Sagittarius. But they want a new beginning with you. It's like they're gaining some type of clarity that you may be their person, but they're not saying anything. They're closed off to it. It's like they blocked that out. And I feel like this person, this person, they want the opportunity to free themselves, to have this new beginning, okay? But they are having to or needing to activate some type of creative way to um, free themselves from the situation that they're in without hurting the people that's around them. Because they, here it is again, it's like they wanna complete their cycle. They want change, but they're not saying anything. They could be getting messages from the universe. Their intuition is telling them what to do. Having dreams, trying to communicate telepathically, but they're not listening to their intuition in order to plant these new seeds. So they're juggling. They keep asking the universe for assistance, for help, for guidance trying to practice self-love, trying to set these intentions into the atmosphere so that they can receive these gifts and have something to celebrate about, but they're not listening to their intuition because out of guilt, they don't want to feel guilty. So they continue to sabotage the relationship with you and stay bound in a toxic relationship or a bore, in a relationship where they may feel bored they feel like they're bound because of the responsibilities. Nothing in the relationship. Um, there are patterns in the relationship that do not change. But they're staying stuck to that because of obligations, responsibilities. Okay? <clears throat> Let's get one more card. One more. Yeah, there's some type of soul tie there with that other person. Or you two have a soul tie, but at the bottom of the deck, you have divine timing. Spirit is always in control of these things. Spirit will allow a situation to take place that will create um, a situation where that person has no choice but to make a decision. All right, so that is what I have, Aquarius. Let me know in the comment section below if this sounds like your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, be safe. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Peace.